Hey guys, welcome to Claude Code 2.0. It feels very, very good to say that. So what's new? New native VS Code extension, fresh coat of paint throughout the whole app. Rewind a conversation to undo code changes. Now this is actually pretty massive. Obviously, if you're using Git branching and things like that anyway, then you shouldn't really need to use this feature, but it is still extremely helpful. Sometimes you kind of forget to use branches or maybe you're just working late at night and you do a load of progress and then something breaks and then you're like, oh shit, what am I going to do now? So basically you can undo things now, which is really, really cool. Now what we're going to be doing today is running my service website generation prompt. So I'm just going to grab that right there. There it is. And I'm just going to put this in and I'm just going to hit enter. And basically what this should do is it should scaffold an entire project holy shit that's fast wait i'm just going to do dangerously allow permissions uh dangerously skip permissions i'll just do dash c oops dash c and then continue okay so let's see how this performs so basically the prompt is a little bit confusing it's purposely confusing i'm trying to confuse the model i'm trying to make it basically mess up but I'm just going to assume that it um, works it out pretty damn quickly, to be honest with you. So let's see. There we go. LSLA. That already kind of means that it's uh, working it out. So now it's trying to create the app. Okay. That is definitely the fastest I've ever seen it fix that problem, which is pretty damn cool. CD, my next app, MKD, public images. So yeah, this is going extremely quickly. It's, it's, it's recognized everything, it's understood everything, and it's already smashing through this project. I've got extremely high hopes for this, guys. I'm not going to lie. Let me just give you a piece of advice. If you want to build a piece of software, build it now. In fact, I might start streaming. I might just build another project on stream, just because right now, Claude Code is by far... I would say I'm testing it now, obviously, but I, I, I'm, I can make a pretty intelligent or in, in, informed guess that the model is intelligent, right? Because I mean, last time they did this, they released Claude Opus 4.5 and yeah, it was just amazing. I've just realized I might not be using the right model. Oh yeah, I am. Sorry. So it's set to default Sonic 4.5. Now, Guys, let me give you a piece of advice. Do not use Opus for now. Just use Sonic 4.5, build something, because if everybody is still using Opus, they're still going to have their servers overworked. In my opinion, the best way to do this, everyone uses Sonic 4.5, and we hope that this model stays as intelligent as it is today for the next six months, year, whatever. Okay, guys, so quick message from our sponsor, which is me. This is SEO Grove, which is a platform that I created with the original Claude code. I'm now going to go back. I'm probably going to either stream this progress of me fixing all of the problems with Grove or just making a new project with everything I've learned since I made Grove. I think the second one is more interesting just because people like to see builds from scratch. But if you are a Shopify or WooCommerce store and you want to automate your SEO, check out, check out seogrove.ai. It'll be the first in the description of this video. Okay, guys, this update right here, you need to see this. This shit is actually crazy. So previously, when there was a linting error, it would have to go by one by one and fix them. So you can see one really key thing that they have done is that they've increased the speed at which it can do multi-page edits, which is actually quite big because one problem with Claude Code is that it was extremely slow at times. Another problem with Claude Code is that I didn't even realize this, but you actually use Opus usage when you go over the limit if you hard set your model to Opus 4.1. So this has effectively just saved us thousands of dollars because we were, we were accidentally pretty much spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars on API costs that we just didn't even realize where they were coming from until I finally worked it out the other day. Now what will happen is instead of using Opus, it will use Sonic 4.5. So we've effectively saved ourselves money as well because if you don't know, Sonic is five times, literally five times cheaper than uh, Opus. So we should be getting to the end of the build here. That was pretty good. I'm really curious to see what it comes up with here. Um, I guess we can open this up, right? So this is Claude 4.5. Open this in Visual Studio. 
code. So just drag and drop, I believe. That's the thumbnail for this video. I believe you can just drag and drop, right? Yep. Okay, good. And then terminal, new terminal. NPM run dev question mark. Yep. Let's see. That looks good. That looks like it has worked. Okay. Wow. Well, this is again a different UI UX for sure. I do like it. Uh, it's a little bit basic, I have to say. Maybe a little bit more basic than I was expecting. Uh, although, is that fair? I'm not sure. This does look really, really good. So let's go to English here. Everything works perfectly, technically, which, like, technically speaking. So, I mean, I would expect that from a brand new Sonnet model, let's be honest. Uh, some of these SVGs, again, still messed up. I Actually, this isn't basic. This is a really, really good design, to be fair. Everything works perfectly. Little um shading issue there but apart from that not really many other issues whatsoever pretty complete build the total time was 10 minutes i saw it just here it had been running for 632 seconds so a 10 minute build of a perfect website with all of these pages and then all you do so you add real images to public slash images right um i'll have some videos on kind of things that you can do to, you know, manually avoid manually adding loads of images there. You can use the Gina MCP, for example. Um, but yeah, 142 pages generated in kind of 10, 10 and a half minutes. Very impressive stuff. Amber, which it just chose for itself. Nice amber tones. Um, Italian works perfectly. English works perfectly. I haven't seen a single 404 just yet. And this is kind of cooking. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to do undo and see. What was it? Un... Was it undo? Right, rewind. Restore the conversation to a previous point. Okay, so you can't even really rewind properly. I'm not sure about this feature here. I think what they should do instead, if you're watching this Anthropic, which I'm sure you're not, um, you should be able to scroll up to the conversation and say, like, rewind back to this point. Right. I think that would be the most useful thing for people. I don't really like this slash rewind thing that you've done here. Just have a little button. I don't know if it's possible on terminal, obviously, but if it is, or maybe you can like do slash rewind and then that activates the button here and then you can decide where you want to rewind to. I think that'd be much more useful. But overall, uh, as expected, this release is as good as I was expecting. I'm very, very happy with this result. It's very good. It looks very good. It might be a little bit basic. Um, kind of on the front end, but I mean, there are no images. I didn't give it any images, so it, it didn't have anything to work with and it produced this entire thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make more videos, guys, and make more, I'll probably be streaming uh, tomorrow, testing this out on something a little bit more meaty. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.